Hi everyone, I'm making this video to clarify what we were going over with DynamoDB using the sort key and the partition key as a way to search records, how to organize that data, and then how to retrieve it uh, in Node.js. So we had our data here. It's, uh, we're in DynamoDB. We have a bunch of records for users. Users can either be a landlord or a renter. And so we've organized this as a single table database where we're using the uh, prefix user to indicate that it is a user and then the hash sign and then the land the type, which, is, which can be landlord or renter. And then the sort key is again, specifying that it's a user, but it is then uh, appending the email so that you can uniquely search for users if you so desire to do that. But what we're doing here is we're trying to figure out how can you search for multiple records uh, based on the partition key and the sort key. In this case, we might want to look for users who are landlords. So, uh, if we want to do that in Node.js, that was what we were working in. I'm going to bring up this example. And all we want to do is be able to search for uh, users who maybe are just renters and show that in the console. So we're just making a simple console app, nothing fancy. So we need to import the packages for AWS SDK that example is right here at the top of this code. This is the latest way to use the AWS SDK in Node.js. It's the latest and greatest as of the recording of this video. So we're not gonna use the, the previous versions. This is version three, I believe. So if we look at this code from line one to 15, this code is pretty much boilerplate code. It's just what you get from the example, from the instruction manual. So I'm not gonna go over that. The uh, interesting part of that is down here at the bottom where we are running a function to use the execute statement command to run some SQL-like queries against our DynamoDB. So there are several ways to query DynamoDB this is one of them. This is actually the, the only way that this will work. So uh, what we want to do is use the execute statement command. And right here is just boilerplate. Uh, the, the way that you send a command to DynamoDB asking for some information. But we're going to create this object right here. So I'm executing this async function uh, just so that we can get this running. We're gonna have an object params with a key statement, and we're gonna put our statement, our SQL statement in here. And this is very uh, similar to normal SQL. It's not exactly the same, but very similar. So if you know SQL, this should be somewhat familiar. We're gonna do a select all from data. That's our one table ta uh, table name. And our, our partition key is called PK. The, with your partition key, you can't do a uh, condition like uh, contains or begins with. It always has to be equal. You can't search parts of your partition key. Uh, so we, in this case, we are looking for uh, users who are renters or users who are landlords. So I've got several queries here. And so let's say, let's say that we wanted to only find renters. I'll comment out these other examples. So we're looking for the partition key where it's user hash renter. That indicates it's a renter. But when you do this, you, you still have to put a condition for the, or for the uh, sort key. So we're going to use begins with because we're not looking for a specific user. We, we want to look for all users. And all users begin with the string user hash. So that indicates that you are looking for users. 
So there may be some other conditions where you might want to look for uh, a renter who's not a user. So you can organize your data in many different ways. And this gives you a lot of flexibility in how you can look that up. So if I go down to the code right here, this is boilerplate. This is just how it works with the uh, AWS SDK and node. So it's nothing out of the ordinary. I'm going to run this. Let me also make note that the way that this is working and it's connected to your account, well, that's going to be uh, set up in the environment variables. So the SDK automatically looks for AWS access key ID and AWS secret access. Those are the credentials you get in your uh, IAM user. Uh, I'm not going to go over that. That's a separate thing. But that's how this is even working, because as you can see in this code, I have not put any credentials in there. So what did we do? Well, I said, I want to look for all of the records from data where the uh, partition key is a renter and sort key is a user. I've got 32 records. And I just gave you a sample of the data because I don't want to show you the data. So that's if you were looking for uh, just renters. Now you can use the SQL syntax or on the partition key. So you can look for users and renters and then we can renters and landlords, and then we can still say we want to look at users. So if we use this, now we're basically we're pretty much looking for all of our users. So we don't, we don't care that it's a landlord or a renter. We just want all the users. But because the partition key is set up this way, we have to uh, put the where clause in there like that. And then now we're getting 64 records. That's double because we're getting everything. And then the final example is you may want to look for a certain specific user. So you may know that all of your users could be renters or landlords, but you want to find a very specific user by their email. And so now we can just, uh, we can look for that specific user by the specific sort key. And I actually didn't need to use uh, begins with here because we want the full value, but I'll just keep it begins with. So now if I, I'm saying look for this specific user by user hashtag email on the sort key. Now I can see I've got two items. Um, there should be uh, only one. I think the data is duplicated, but that's how you can get a very specific user. Okay, so there's that demo. Hopefully that makes sense and you're able to reproduce this. The issue is that if you use different types of the different versions of the SDKs, uh, they don't all work. You can't do this with them. So I'm trying to point this out directly. This is what you need to do if you're going to be using partition keys and sort keys this way to uh, organize your data. And it's, it's a pretty good way to do it. But uh, hopefully that helped. Uh, there you go.